Hi everyone, today I wanted to talk about the CoverGirl Shadow Pot eyeshadows and the new Flamed Out shadow pencils. When I saw these at the store, I was pretty excited because CoverGirl claimed that these had a new formula. And I wasn't so much of a fan of the old CoverGirl single eyeshadows. The selection of the new shadows is pretty good. I'd say there are about maybe 8 or 10 new single shadows, but I chose the two neutral ones, which are 335 and 330. This is 335, and this is 330. When I first started using these, I loved them. I thought that they were really pigmented without primer, even better with primer, and pretty soft and silky. I noticed that a few days after I started using these, that the texture changed, and when you rub your finger on them after a couple times, it kind of seals and it gets really hard. Sometimes MAC eyeshadows do that, so if you have a MAC eyeshadow and you touch a lot with your fingers, you probably know what I'm talking about. These do the exact same things. I really wasn't pleased with that because I like using my fingers sometimes instead of brushes, and it's just really inconvenient because then you have to like scratch off the surface or try to make it work somehow. Another problem I have with these is that when I rub my finger on them, or even when I'm using a brush, these big white chunks of glitter just fall out and they make a mess everywhere. I did wear these for two days in a row and I noticed that they fade very quickly with and without primer. Um, I had I had maybe about three hours of wear without primer, so you're definitely going to want to use a primer. And when I did have a primer, the color, you know, it didn't travel off my eyes or didn't have fallout. I only had fallout when I was actually applying them because the white glitter kind of kicks up out of the pan and it just falls like all under here, you know, where you pat your eyeshadow on. But um, with primer, I noticed that the color intensity goes away. That shimmer that these give, it just, towards the end of the night, you can't even tell that you were wearing a shimmery eyeshadow. And you're kind of just left with like a wash of the color, but the, the shimmer kind of goes away. Usually when I wear shimmery eyeshadow, that never happens to me. The shimmer always stays, but maybe the glitter falls. But with these, the shimmer and the glitter just wears off by the end of the night. And I'm just like, where did the shimmer go? Because I was wearing really shimmery eyeshadow. These are almost borderline metallic, um, especially in the light. I don't know if you can see how shimmery they really are. I mean, this is a couple swatches from the pan just on my finger, no primer or anything, but they're pretty metallic-y, and I like that. I mean, not every day. I like mattes and everything too, but that's the main reason why I bought these shadows is because I thought, wow, those are, they look like Kind of when you use the bake, I, baked eyeshadow wet, they kind of give the same finish, but it doesn't last. So I was just, I'm going to take these back because I'm just disappointed. And another thing I really don't like about these is the packaging. It comes with this, it's just this little plastic pot. The shade name is not printed on the back. For most people that might not be a problem if the name isn't printed on the back, but for me that is because... When I'm doing a blog post or when I'm making a video or something, I want to know the name for quick reference. I don't want to have to go on the website and look up the name and, you know. The other problem I have with the packaging is that the lid doesn't really stay on very securely. I just barely have to twist it or, you know, barely touch it and the lid just pops right off. I found these at Rite Aid and the cover girl was buy one get one half off. So it was $5 for one and then $2.50 for the other. But for me... I don't think they're worth five dollars at all. I think, I think maybe if these were two dollars, that they would be decent. But for five dollars and a lot of fallout and the weird sealing thing that it does, I don't really think it's worth it. And I kind of had a feeling going in with buying these that I wouldn't like them because I haven't liked CoverGirl shadows in the past. I think the one shadow thing I liked was the Shimmering Sands Trio, and those shadows were great quality, great pigmentation. But all the rest of their shadows, I don't know, they just didn't have the same quality as that trio. And these don't have a scent or anything, so that's really good because I hate scented eyeshadows. And sometimes CoverGirl makeup can have, like, I don't know about you, but every time I smell their blushes, those Cheekers blushes, it makes me think of, like, men's shaving cream. I know that's weird, but I swear they have, like, this weird 
like men's shaving cream I, that's like the only reason the only thing I can compare it to and I hate their blushes like they have pretty colors but they just like have this weird scent overall I wouldn't recommend these unless you can get them on sale for like a dollar or two I would say that if they lasted a little longer then they'd be worth five dollars but since they don't um and the fallout is just insane like even when you're trying to blend it out on your eye I'm not wearing it right now you could just see how that white glitter just gets all over my hand even if I swatch it only in one place it just like migrates everywhere now for the flamed out shadow pencil I paid $7.50 for this at Rite Aid I really again I really don't think this is worth that price I do have some issues with this packaging though first off it's actually a pencil so you're going to have to have some sort of jumbo pencil sharpener to be able to sharpen this. And sometimes those can be anywhere from 3 to $5. So if you add that on to what you already paid for this, you might as well just buy something nicer than this quality. And I remember their old eyeshadow pencils. I forgot what they're called, but they're in like a silver tube. And they had like a cooling feeling. And these also feel really cool when you touch the skin like literally it feels cold swatch I used this in two ways I used it as a eyeshadow base and I used it alone when I used it as an eyeshadow base I tested it with the shadow pot eyeshadows because I mean it's in the same line and it didn't intensify the color or the wear time of it at all so I wouldn't recommend using this as a base if you want to prolong the wear time of your shadow color. And then I also use this by layering with the Shadow Pot shadows. And it dries very quickly, so you can't put the shadow on top of it like that because it doesn't blend together. The other problem I have with this is that it dries very quickly, so if you want to make a cool like metallic -y look and blend it in, you're going to have to work fast because this stuff sets within like two seconds. So if you have any NYX Jumbo eye pencils, I would stick with those because I have a couple of them and they feel much creamier. The pencil itself, I mean, yeah, it's cooling and all. It does, it does go on smoothly. I mean, I have no problem. There's no tugging. But once you get down, you're going to have to sharpen it and you're going to be wasting so much product just by sharpening this pencil. I also tried using this on my bottom lash line as like some like a bronzy kind of effect for eyeliner but it just like totally melted and I was left with like bronze glitter on the on my bottom lash line and it just looked horrible so these and right now it's pretty hot where I live I don't think these really withstand at all like I think I'd say the wear time is like if you're going to wear it as an eyeliner, maybe like an hour. If you're going to wear it as a base, maybe like three hours. Either way, it's not very good quality, and I would definitely skip out on these. I wasn't expecting to love these or anything, but I, I thought I would like at least this pencil, and I really didn't. I don't think it's worth the money at all. So if you're looking to try new CoverGirl products, I'd definitely go for the Flamed Out Mascara or one of the Lip Smoochies over the new flamed out shadow pencils or the shadow pots because I feel like these you're gonna like these so much more they actually do what they say and these products I feel like they did not live up to their claims they're just not very pigmented and they don't last long so skip these if you want to try covergirl go for these thank you for watching